skeleton remains believed to be that of a man who went missing close to two years ago were found in bushes. In Doncaster District, Craighead, Manchester on Sunday, police and residents says the remains are believed to be that of Delroy Carter, 54 years old, a resident of Craighead, Carter who is said to live alone, reportedly went missing in September 2022. Police said about 4 p.m. on Sunday, residents alerted them to a remote section of Doncaster where the remains were found behind Carter's home. Police said relatives identify his clothes. Preliminary reports are that there was no sign of foul play. The remains were moved to the morgue for a DNA test to identify the body. A man was shot dead by the police and a firearm seized during an incident at a gully along Content Avenue, Kingston 10 on Saturday up to press time Sunday morning. The dead man was still unidentified. Reports are that around 12.05 p.m. Police were on patrol in Canton Avenue area when they observed two men who saw the service vehicle and run. The police give chase and accosted one of the men. One of the cops searching now deceased and found a 9mm Smith & Wesson firearm in his waistband. The man the police attempted to disarm the cop when one of the other lawmen, in fear of his life and that of his colleague, opened fire to neutralize the threat. The man was shot and injured and taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where doctors pronounced him dead on arrival. None of the cops were hurt. During the incident, the police said. A 22 years old man was sentenced to more than 62 years in prison. When he appeared in the gun court last Friday, Jaim Neal, otherwise called Toggy, from East Road in Trenchtown, Kingston 12, was before the court charged with possession of a prohibited weapon an unauthorized possession of ammunition and two counts of shooting with intent. He was found guilty and sentenced to 22 years and 6 months for a possession of a prohibited weapon and 20 years and 6 months and each count of shooting with intent. The sentence are to run concurrently, meaning he will serve a total of 22 years and 6 months behind bars. Neil was charged in connection with the incident that was committed on January 7, 2023 where he was accused of shooting at two men. On East Road, he was charged on April 4, that same year and placed before the court. Allegations are that the incident stemming from a long-standing family dispute. According to court documents, the man who resided in the same community, as Neil were accompanying a friend home from a party sometime in the early morning on the day of the incident. Upon reaching a section of the scheme, close to the building where the accused live, the complainant said they observed Neil with a firearm. It is said that Neil then pulled the firearm, fired two shots in the direction of the com complainant, and fled the area on foot. A double murder in Nannyville, St. Andrew on Monday may have been a reprisal for the killing of an alleged Dan on Mountain Avenue more than a week earlier. Information written in the news is that at least one of the men killed in the double murder was said to be involved in the June 11, 2024 killing of 34 years old Kemar Williams, otherwise called Daniels from Travis Avenue, Kingston Tree. Williams was shot dead while driving in a vehicle on Mountain View Avenue. Reports are that around 2.05 p.m. he was heading along the roadway when he was pounced upon by two gunmen traveling on motorcycle who opened fire hitting him several times. 13 days later, two men, 34 years old, Demar Pink, of Grandage Park and 25 years old and Stephen Wallace of Abinway, both in Nannyville were shot dead and another man injured during the gun attack. It was reported that around 9.30 p.m. residents heard explosion and summoned the police. Upon arrival, both men were seen with gunshot wounds to the upper body. They were assisted to the hospital where Pink and Wallace were pronounced dead. The other man was ad admitted for treatment. Police told the news that they are looking at several leads into the double murder, including that the man may have been killed as a reprisal for William's death.